I'm here at the David Dunlap Observatory to explain to you how the optics on this very large telescope operate using mirrors. This telescope doesn't use lenses like you think in a classical telescope. A lens on a telescope this big would be so heavy that it would sag. So instead this telescope uses mirrors for its light gathering. The primary mirror, which is down there, all the way down there, is 1.88 meters in diameter, almost two meters in diameter. It has a focal length of 10 meters. So it's a concave mirror that reflects the light back up the length of the telescope, almost the size of a school bus, to this mirror over here. The secondary mirror up at the end of the telescope is a convex mirror. It's actually a diverging mirror and it deflects the light back down the length of the tube to the primary. So the light is sent down the length of the telescope again and it goes through that small hole in the middle of the primary mirror and that's how the light gets to the eyepiece or to the optical equipment mounted on the back of the telescope. The whole telescope has an effective focal length of oh, about 36 meters. This is the back of the telescope here behind the mirror. So the light comes through that hole in the middle of the mirror to all of this equipment back here where we can either look at it through an eyepiece mounted up there or analyze it through the spectrograph that's uh, this large piece of equipment hanging off the back of the telescope. Uh, I'm sitting inside the telescope now to provide some perspective uh, to show you just how big this mirror is. The fact that the diameter of this mirror is the same as my height. This mirror weighs two tons and it's a foot thick of solid glass and was manufactured by the Corning Company in upstate New York. And uh, the telescope was built by a company in England. So the mirror was manufactured in New York, was shipped to England when the telescope, uh, where the telescope was built. And then the entire thing was shipped back across the Atlantic, installed here in 1935. That's pretty impressive. 